Hey guys, it's MCG here and today I'm going to be teaching you simple things and how to create a nice intro for your YouTube channel. Yeah, just Sony Vegas Pro 12 right here and some basics. So, if, if you're just starting off and you're a beginner, you just want to make an intro or something for your beginning, um, you're going to want to set up a, f a folder called Sony Vegas. Um, when you save your files, It'll, it'll come up as a .veg and you're gonna wanna have a video folder for all your videos and a music folder for all your music and then you should be all set for that so go into Vegas what you wanna do is there's nothing here you can just right click insert a video track or press control shift Q and then for an audio track it's just control Q um, you want to right click on the video track and do insert text media and text will appear on your screen as so and then let me just name this test intro um, you can choose the font I've already downloaded fonts so I'm gonna use anchor jack I like this font I don't know just cool I guess my opinion you can have it so you can change the outline you can, if you want a border on it what you do is you just go to outline and you can drag the width of the outline and change the color so like that I'll have it black All right. and then you can go into over here there's a media generators tab you can use a solid color pick any color you'd like I'm gonna use blue close that out and if you can't if you run out of room here just right click insert another video track it should come up above it and what you want to do is imagine it's in layers the top layer will be shown first so if I were to put this on top the blue would be shown and if I were to place the test intro on top, this would be shown. So, yeah, you want you want you want this on top all the time. So, you can grab here, drag, and it'll shorten the the clip. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel, and um, in order to make it look instead of just having a flat out blue background, what I like to do is I like to go under the video effects tab. I look for a soft contrast I grab I'm um, just drag it onto the blue background let it load okay and then you can go under effect you can play with these if you like you can change the different things just play around with it if you have any errors just control Z it or something not errors but mistakes um, I go under vignette click on um, exterior effect and you want it to be black not to be racist but you can have it as a rectangle no there's no need but or ellipse and then you can increase the softness a ton put the width and height all the way and then just adjust this because softness just affects how hard or soft the edges of the circle are put it about 60 or so and then what you can do here is if you like a fade in the beginning or any type of fade you can just click at the top left or top right corner and it will bring out this fade here and when you click play it'll fade it in so you can do that there's also another effect I like to do which is a TV simulator effect what you want what you can do is cut about maybe a, a little bit into the video and make sure this is highlighted so it's not like both of these are highlighted like this you don't want that you just want this top one highlighted so if it's like that just have the top highlighted and then click S to split the video and then you can grab 
this effect under video effects go to TV simulator drag and drop onto the beginning clip and what you can do is it'll show here you can put a line sync make it look like it comes in like a TV like shutter effects you can mess with those um, the interlacing shows whether the lines are there or not and then you can change the phosphorus which makes it gray or makes it blue you can animate it to your liking so it'll change colors or however you like it but um, that'll be in another tutorial if I make another one um, so yeah you can just do whatever you like here play around with these settings but I would put the line sync about right here and the interlacing um, no not interlacing vertical sync about 8000 give or take and then when you click play it looks as if it comes in like a shutter not a shutter effect like one of those weird effects and let, let's say your video is rendering too slow you have a bad computer in order to watch it um, more smoothly what you're gonna wanna do is you can use this to change the settings between good um, most likely people use preview because it's pretty quick it doesn't look bad um, but if you really have a cruddy cruddy computer you can use auto I mean draft but I use preview so if you have a good computer use best just test these out um, and you can up here there's a gray empty space you can click anywhere in the box and drag to the beginning and if you were to click the keys shift and B what it does is it renders it in Vegas so it can play it at full speed without any lag so you can do that for um, preview and if you wanted to see it in the best settings you do the same thing and you click shift B and it renders it in the best settings there are no lag so yeah you can do that and for this intro I'm gonna have it so I'm gonna just gonna sync it up to some music so go to your music folder find any music you like um, I'm gonna put elevator music right here you can just drag and cut it to here um, you might want to have it maybe sticking out a second after the videos done depending on how you do your intro you can just fade it out you can change the fade type um, so if you were to right click at the very top there's a thing called fade type it changes like how the fade re really is in the audio I um, like if you were to listen to the differences between this fade and then this fade I, I don't know if you can tell but um, if if you get to, um, really editing precise you'll be able to tell the differences between these fades and I usually use this one right here looks like a slope going down um, yeah you can do that you can keyframe or move the title so it looks like it's zooming in so let's say instead of having this delete you you can drag this out you can press this which is the pan event pan and crop um you can just keyframe this so what you want to do in order to make it look like it just zooms in you can zoom out about this far and then click the first line the, the light gray line if you click on this it's mask and this is a whole nother thing so you won't see that the F up here anymore um, you want to click the gray line and then you want to add a keyframe so insert keyframe should have a diamond show up and you can either click restore or you can have it so it goes in further and maybe tightens into the intro and then when you click play it just does something like that I guess and then you can just play around with the effects add maybe a sun flare in there a lens flare 
you can just drag that onto the blue background you have or whatever background in order to really see the lens flare you have to put up the tint but you won't see it at all and the intensity and then you can animate it or oh no not animating these clocks here animate what um, the effect is so the tint or the position of the light so depending where you have the light so I'm just gonna put um, animate the position right here so over here it practically says it's zero seconds it's there at one second I'm gonna move this across here and then you press play let me just render that real quick you you can also um change the speed of each effect so I, I say that was a bit too too fast all you do is click the top diamond and it'll drag every effect out and then if you were to press play again or render it and then play All right. Like um something like that. You can have um instead of this boring blue background, you can just put footage behind it. So let's say let me go into video. Um this effect. You can just go on YouTube, go to keeptube.com and you can download um footage like this if you find a YouTube video and do stuff like that um, and like I said in order to delete if the lazy way instead of going properties lock you could just go to options customize keyboard and then you want to go to global and then scroll down or just go a couple down and look for lock what you want to do is you want to go here. I have it set to minus. You can set it to, I believe, any other key that's not occupied in the global. And then click OK. So, like, if I were to remove this um, and then add it, I would go minus and go add. And it would be assigned to that lock. And click OK. And then to know something's locked, I would click the minus and it would turn gray on me. And then I could right click here and delete the audio even though there's no audio but it just bugs me and then click here and click the minus so it undo undoes itself so you could have it like that and then let's say I want this footage here I'm gonna go to the last frame cut to there maybe just have it so that it fades out as well with the music if you were to click here it'll and then grab the fade it'll snap onto the render not the rent I don't know what to call this honestly but the the line of time let's call it the line of time um, it would just snap onto that and it would be exactly the fade where it goes there you can also change the fade type on the video um, I keep this the same, I don't usually go like this, but you can do that, and then shorten this video a bit. And in order to save the footage, you want to go to File, Save As, and you can save it into the Sony Vegas folder I told you to make earlier, and save it as Test Intro, or whatever name you'd like, and it'd be, and then save. And then you can always close this out and then open it up here. Oh, no. You would look for test intro or you would be able to locate it faster. You can save to the desktop if you like, but it just make it messy. And then it would open up again. It locates all the files and it would open up. And then to render this video, um, right now it doesn't look good. But in order to render this video, you want to go to File, Render As. What Render As does is it turns it into a true video. So it 
you can practically see see it in good quality whatever quality that that may be oh wait let me just add a fade here so it all fades out nice okay file render as um depending on the speed of your computer um 1080p is the best quality there is but it takes a long time depending on your computer specs so i would say if you have a medium computer use 720 it it 720 is practically 1080, but 1080 sh sharper. Um, render loop region only. If um, that little loop region right here, when you click and drag, if I just wanted a certain part of the video, like let's just say I wanted this to render, it would render from this point in time to this point in time and nothing else. It would skip all this. That's what render loop region does. So you would go to file render as and if you want it you can render the loop region only so let's say I have extra footage I don't want rendered you can just select what you want rendered but I'm not so I want everything rendered so let that render see how long this takes if not I'll just skip through it um, as you can see the quality of the footage is better now because it's rendering better quality and if you have any problems importing footage into Vegas, you're going to want to download VLC player and some codecs to, to open AVI files because those sometimes will decide not to open and they're just weird. So I, I used to have that problem. Just I would recommend downloading VLC and if not looking on a form and then yeah. So let's just wait for this video to render, like five more seconds. Okay, then you can open the folder or open the file itself. I like to open the folder to locate it first. Um, so it's on my desktop. Right here. Test intro, WMV. Oh, I forgot, I'm sorry. Um, when you do render as, um, when you render, you want to look for WMV because that's I, I I render in WMV. You can find your own codecs to to do it in, but if you upload to YouTube, I would recommend just using WMV. You would just scroll through here until you find Windows Media Viewer and render through there and click yeah six megabits per second. Um, and yeah, now the video is good quality. That's your test intro, guys. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, see you guys in the next tutorial, next video, next tech it, next anything.